This is it, the final chapter, and we're going out with a bang. We'll be diving into more advanced material work with our energy shield and deeper methods of prototyping effects in our blueprints and Niagara systems with our pulse grenade. First, we're gonna focus on creating that sci-fi energy shield and hook up our automated turret effects. We will follow the usual structure of working off our concept and creating some preliminary assets for our textures and shield mesh. Then it will be all about creating more detailed look and feel through our advanced material workflow. We will work in a modular way through named reroute declaration nodes to allow for quick iteration and alteration of our material. We will tackle advanced techniques for creating multiple masks and working through how to independently animate them while finding a balance between art direction and gameplay needs. Then we will wrap that section up in our blueprints. We will work through how to handle proper collision logic and drive certain material parameters through timelines to animate our shield kicking on and off. And of course, we will make sure to hook up all of our effects for our turrets to properly test our shield against enemies. In the final section of this entire series, we will make a really satisfying pulse grenade. We will reuse assets we created in part two of the course from our laser beam and plasma blaster effects. Don't worry if you miss those sections, you can still follow along. We will have a lot of fun creating ways for our blueprints to be used to handle dynamically changing strike points for our lightning arcs by talking to our Niagara systems from our blueprints. We will do some preliminary tests to make sure our beams are working correctly. Then we will add more detail to our lightning arcs in our Niagara systems to give them some more shape and dynamic animation. We will even explore some additional material logic in our bonus section by creating a function to make sure our beams stay consistent in their emissive values from various distances. By the end of part three, you will not only have some really cool portfolio pieces, but a better understanding of how to create and prototype many other effects by leveraging the power of Unreal materials, blueprints, and Niagara systems. I hope you enjoy this final installment in the series. So jump on in and let's get crafting.